everybody. I just woke up, as you can tell. I am going to get ready for the day. It is a Sunday. It is the next three days of the hormone reset. It is fruitless. So this three days is going to center around me really limiting my high glycemic fruits and just my overall sugar intake. I'm going to stop eating bananas, stop eating mango, stop eating fruits like that. Um, I may have strawberries. I will admit just a couple things going on today. Me and my husband are gonna go explore and just have a good Sunday. But I am, for some reason, I woke up really nauseous and sometimes that happens to me. I don't know if that happens to you guys. So we may go to a smoothie store. I'm just gonna get ready for the day and then we're gonna go out and have fun. And then I will take you guys along the day with me. See you soon. Me and my husband just got home, so we are eating dinner. It's another late night. It is after 7 p.m. I just can't make that 7 p.m. deadline. I just don't know what's wrong with me. Me and my husband tend to be out late and then just lose track of time and I just don't eat. So I actually need to go grocery shopping. I'll probably take you along with me doing that tomorrow or the next day, but for now, we stopped into our local grocery store and I literally grabbed a thing of soup and that's what I'm going to be eating. I just, I really wanted something simple. I felt like a salad, but I don't have any lettuce. So I just stopped in and got a can of soup because we were running in and running out and that's what I'm eating. So just a little helpful tip. If you guys do have to stop at the grocery store, if you guys are eating, you know, prepackaged foods, I try to look for some that are organic as well as the least amount of ingredients um, inside them. I tried to look for uh, less net carbs. That was what I got. I believe I got this vegetable wild rice type soup that has about 24 net carbs per container. So that is what I'm going to eat. Tomorrow is Monday, so it is a work day. So I will be taking you guys along with me there. And yeah, other than that, it was a good day. I will admit the past few days and I really think it's because I ate chili and I didn't follow the FODMAPs like I should have. I've been kind of gassy and I feel like I do need to increase my fiber intake which is something that Sarah Godfried, Dr. Sarah Godfried says in the Hormone Reset is make sure that you follow a specific amount of fiber intake and trying to increase it. We'll get the measurement for you guys and put that up on tomorrow's video about the fiber intake that you guys should be trying to stay and well i hope you have a wonderful evening and thank you for following me along today i had a fun day and that is it i'll see you tomorrow bye i did want to say one more thing before i leave um my husband my husband actually got cheesecake today and i feel like i am having really bad cravings today so i'm going to drink water eat my dinner i know that when i start to get cravings usually it's because i need to eat something so i'm going to eat my dinner and I should feel better. But other than that, have a great night. That is it. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, so I am at work. Today is the second day of the fruitless reset. I am making some matcha tea right now and I'm going to eat my avocado toast. I also brought salmon and a couple other things throughout the day. I am going to have to get lunch because I woke up later than I wanted to and didn't prep my lunch. You will get to come along with me for that. Other than that, I'm gonna get to work and I hope you have a great day. guys so I am taking a little bit of a break and just wanted to let you guys know that I drink water throughout the day like nobody's business I would say that through this hormone reset diet it's very important to drink water drink tea stay really hydrated I tend to go to the bathroom a lot because I, I'm drinking so much water but keep a water bottle if you're in a job where you can't really hold on to a water bottle I know I'm at a desk maybe you know just have it in the break room or you know just maybe set a time limit or look at the timer on or look at you know a clock at your work and just say okay I'm I'm gonna drink water this time, this time, this time. 
it's really important to drink water whenever you can. So other than that, that was just my two cents for today. I'm gonna get back to work and I will see you guys at lunch. It is past 5 p.m. so I am about to go home. I just wanted to check in with you guys. I'm going to stop at the grocery store first. I have to get some dog food and cat food and then I'm gonna get some greens and stuff to juice. I am feeling a little bit inspired today. Sometimes I like to juice or make soup if it's you know somewhat of a slower day. I will take you along with that and yeah I'll see you guys at home. Good morning everybody, I just got to the office. I was not able to film this morning, I was rushing out the door. Today I do have a couple of meetings and I brought in my avocado toast for breakfast and then my soup that I made for lunch. So today's going to be a good day. It is the third day of Fruitless. I did weigh myself this morning and you know, I will admit I was a little disappointed that I didn't really see it move as much. I know though that the past few days I've been a little bit gassy because I haven't been eating 100% how I know I should and I'm debating changing up my breakfast a little bit and kind of looking into smaller net carb gluten-free dairy-free breads uh, leave a comment down below if you guys know of any good brands I'm going to get started with the day and I'll see you guys at lunch I do want to add one more note guys just because the scale doesn't move is not a bad thing just keep pushing, keep being patient, and things will happen. This is not only a journey for your weight, but it's also a journey for your overall health, inside and out, mind, body, and spirit. So really stick to the regime and know that things are going to happen for you. And other than that, I will see you guys at lunch. My God, today was so hectic. I did not get to film anything after I left the office. I'm going to recap with you right now. I, oh, sorry, just ran up the stairs. <laughs> so when I got home, me and my husband, we went out to do some errands and I grabbed some carrots and I ate hummus. That was what I ate for a snack because I knew we may not be home until later. We ended up getting home at around seven. So I made him dinner and then I made me dinner. I am feeling weird today. I wasn't sure what I felt like. So I'm literally having avocado toast with egg. And then I made a really quick smoothie with just cocoa, coconut milk, ice, and some peanut butter. I wanted something sweet, but I also wanted something low carb. And that is what this is. The fruitless three days was I don't want to say simple for me because I've done this before because for some of you guys not eating the higher glycemic fruits and limiting sugar is going to be tough but for me like I said before I used bananas and I use bananas for everything and I had to cut that out as well as mangoes and just some other high glycemic fruits so it was kind of difficult for me to kind of look at the sugars that I was eating and take them out as well as eating vegetables in every single meal. And then of course, looking at the scale and not seeing it budge much is kind of deterring. However, I do wanna add in, remember, it's not just about the number on the scale, it's about how you feel. So I want you guys to ask yourself in these next three days, in this next three day part of the reset, how am I feeling? Tomorrow I'm going to weigh myself. I will be starting the next three days in another video. So go ahead and check that out. And if you guys are new here, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Anybody who is a current subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And you guys will be seeing more content soon. I hope you guys have a great day and have a happy, holistic, lifestyle. See you guys soon. Bye.